Yeah, cut both the sweet potatoes and apples into smaller chunks. Mics and cameras are in place, white aprons and a stick-on mustaches on. This group is ready to film a high school cooking show. Sweet potato pie, scene two, take two. What's with the mustaches? Well, it's high school. We have mustaches because it's cool. The kids thought it would lighten up the show. <laughs> Today we're making a sweet potato and apple pie, which is our version of a traditional soul food dessert. The show is called Cooking It Up. It lives as a series of webisodes. Christine Diekman, a professor at Cal State San Marcos, is behind the project. Because this will be on the website, yeah. right? So they pick a recipe from their culture. We discuss it as a group. We usually do a test of it and, and then taste test it with different kinds of substitutions. And out of that, we write the script together with the youth. And then they actually show what they're cooking on camera. Diekman students from Cal State San Marcos serve as mentors and tech support. Camera rolling. For the Crawford High School students, it's an internship where they learn video production, graphic design, nutrition, and, of course, cooking. A lot of them just wanted to learn how to cook. So many of them come from families, very busy families, and they are responsible for cooking nutritious foods within their homes. So they really wanted to learn basics of cooking. How to chop an onion, how to handle and store food safely, how to make it good for you. Crystal Gillespie is one of the Crawford High students working on the show. I cook a lot at home and, you know, my grandmother runs a daycare. So the idea of finding healthy ways to make snacks was really great because then that's something else I can do for the kids that's interesting. The students take turns working in different roles in show production, directing, manning the cameras and microphones. For the brave ones, trying out their best emerald in front of the camera. Bam! Chopsticks! Some of the students are from families who recently came to the U.S. as immigrants and refugees. They've brought traditional recipes and cooking smarts to the show. And something else, a connection to food through history and stories. In this episode, the students are making green papaya salad. Nathan got the recipe from his grandparents who lived in Cambodia during the bloody rule of the Khmer Rouge. Nathan tells their story on the Cooking It Up website. Their long, long friend, they, he became a monk because his parents were killed during that regime. So then, and he really liked papaya salad, so then... They just start this, decided to start bringing papaya salad always to him because he didn't really have nobody except for us. And students from immigrant families bring something else to the program. Generally, good eating habits. Researchers have found that immigrants tend to be in better shape when they arrive in the U.S. than Americans. It's known as the healthy immigrant effect. Healthy eating practices are still alive here. But as the youth become more and more acculturated, and I can see it with this group of youth, they're, they're starting to eat more junk food. Diekman says this is the time to get them, to encourage them to carry on their traditions and learn from each other. And the last thing you need are some tostadas. So what you want to do is get a big piece and a small piece. And you're going to use a small piece to scoop up some ceviche onto the tostada. Thanks, Jesse. Mm. This is great, you guys. You want to try some? Yeah! <laughs> the skills these high schoolers are learning, like motion graphics and video editing, just may lead to careers. Or take ninth grader Jesse Aviles, the ceviche master. He actually thinks he might want to become a chef, so he appreciates the technical skills he's picked up. Like, you know, the putting your fingers back so you won't chop off your finger and, you know, accidentally miss a finger for probably forever. So you guys want to come get some pie? In this fast food world, just getting young people interested in cooking seems like a score. You get to cook, and then you get to eat what you cook. I mean, who doesn't love that? Jill Replogle, KPBS News.